Should we do the whole interview like this? <laughs> Quite as long, so I'm gonna say it's about half, so let's just call it four hours. Holy shit! A few moments later. What's up? How long you guys been building the table? It's building. Uh, 2014? Yeah, dude. Um, we yeah. are on our way back like your own, now. Your own company? What's up? What's, yeah. What's your name? Uh, William Douglas Co. William Douglas Co. Oh, yeah? yeah. Dude, if you got to head out, what, man, you could uh, probably started, just put that bag in the, into, uh, in the shop, close you know, those doors. And sure. Um, um, and, uh, I mean, that's we're like actually five a or ten really, really away. Long, long answer okay. to answer that question. Hey, I'm William Douglas, founder of William Douglas Co. I started out in 2014 with the business, was woodworking a little bit before that. I was not a generational woodworker. I learned everything myself. I uh, didn't have any tools passed down to me. My father didn't do any woodworking. I became interested in woodworking when I bought my first house and I wanted to furnish it. All the stuff that I liked, I couldn't afford. So I decided that I was gonna to try to make some of the stuff. For me, the mindset was always, I don't know if it's, a, if it's a good mindset or not, but I always thought everything looked easy. So it gave me the confidence to tackle it. And because of that, I would start on something and would quickly find out that it's not easy. Um, there's a reason why everyone doesn't do it, but I'm also the type of person that follows through when I start something. So because of that, no matter how hard it got, I, I just kept with it and I, I followed through with it and I would finish the product, the project, whatever it may be. I just ended up getting good at it. I started to come up with things like designing things and building them. People started asking me to make things for them. That kind of just snowballed into a business for me and I started learning how to do woodworking. When I, when I started building furniture for myself, I didn't have any experience. I didn't have anybody to help me with anything. I, the first thing I built was a light. It was a piece of two by four that I got from Home Depot. I didn't know that it was a bad piece of wood. I didn't know the differences between um, the different types of woods, between hardwoods and softwoods and all that stuff. So I just knew what I wanted to make. I designed it and I bought my first tool. It was a router. It was a Ryobi router, a little router and a router table. And I just, uh, I gutted out the inside, put an LED strip light in there and I hung, hung it from some string um, in front of my house. And um, like two weeks later, somebody stole it. Somebody came by, <laughs> cut it down, and it was just gone. It just had hanging, hanging wires there. So it's kind of funny because here I am just trying to, to create furniture and design things that, that I liked but couldn't afford. And that was kind of just affirmation that I was doing a good job. Somebody liked it so much that they came by and decided to just take it from, from my front yard. But yeah, so I, I was doing that for a little while, made a few more things for myself. And in uh, 2014, I started renting a shop, started buying tools, and I was just only after the best. I, I would save up, I would save up money. Any money that I made from the company just went back into the company and I would just save up until I could get the right tools. So there's not a lot in my shop that's not like top tier, top tier tools, because I just won't buy it. I'll just keep saving until I can get that specific tool. But here we are in 2019, about to be in 2020, and now we have a clear vision for the company. We have some great people on board with us. We're gonna try to push through and kind of change the, some of the culture here. We're gonna try to make a bit of a splash and see if we can help our community kind of embrace um, design with also um, that lasting craftsmanship aspect that seems to be lost right now. Don't flood it. You're gonna you're gonna flood the <laughs> The question, the simple question, why? For us the answer is simple. Beauty. The entire process is beautiful for us and, and it's important to us that even things like our media, our hand tools our gorgeous heirloom quality hand tools that one day we can pass down to our kids and the furniture that we're making. It's all a beautiful process. It's all part of the process. It's all important. We expect it to be passed down through generations. So because of that, we focused on things like timeless design, which is neglected. You won't see a river table 
come through our shop poured in epoxy. It's it's really important to us that what we are doing is going to be relevant in 10 years and 20 years and 100 years. So we focus on things like timeless design. It needs to make sense. It needs to when it gets handed down to your children, your children are still going to need to want that. It still needs to be relevant. It still needs to make sense in their house. And in 10 years, an epoxy river table is not going to make sense in anyone's house. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to transform the world with beauty. So we see it through all the way. We're not just, we're not just furniture makers. We're not just designers. So long-term vision for the company. It's very, very important to us to connect with our community. So we're not just designing custom furniture. We're not just making products for customers. It's really important to us to educate and to bring an awareness to our community of the importance of timeless design and lasting craftsmanship. We did a little bit of silicone on the inside, just around those seams, just in case there's any uh, thawing of your poor, beautiful cat on the trip home. So the but question is, do you want anything on this lid? Let us know. And I was like, here man, I just fixed that. Can you blow this off and then put a finish on it? So he's like, sure man. And he takes it and he blows it out of his hand, breaks it again. I still, I still want to have a little bit of room in case I get fat, you know? You're not going to get fat. I'm going to go here. All right, man. You want a little thing? Yeah, dude, give me the things. Sure. Oh. <laughs> you trust her? Okay. And this goes in the box? In the box. Yes. So I'll be the short one. He's with me. Got a couple nurse friends to make a phone call for you. I'm sure the answer is don't do it. You need enough, right? Two, three, four, per they're perfect. They're gonna be perfect, like the dancing, <laughs> right? Should I dance? Yeah. They're awesome, thank yeah. you. I owe you, I totally owe you a oh, solid. Okay. Nice to meet you too. Now you're following. William. Thank you, well, yeah. if you see the strange Irish guy on you, you know who it is. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Posting inappropriate, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to ask for that. You got a video shoot? Yeah. No. Put on your pretty face. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> But I'm gonna have another cookie. <laughs> well, it was a tasty cookie. Right, okay, it. awesome. Thank you. Yeah. I really appreciate me, it. We can go grab them for you if, like, if it's a heavy top. Um, just let me know when you're ready. I need to. Yeah, I need to actually go pick it up. That's why okay. I waited. I'm like, I should ask you first. <laughs> group of action going on. Botox. Sculpting. You guys want to go in? Sculpting Botox. Six to eight weeks. That's correct. Uh, and how long is this uh, the flight to New York? Do you have an idea how long it takes? The YouTube channel's live now, so if you're ever a YouTube person, yeah, yeah there's. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> for Will, you gotta do it for Will. You know? Yeah, oh, for sure. Yeah, we got a PG 13 channel going on so far. So. <laughs> My name is William Douglas. I'm the owner of William Douglas Co., also the co-owner of Our Block Co. Some of the things that we do here are woodworking, custom furniture design. Um, we also sell our own product line of furniture, and we just started a YouTube channel. We're gonna be focusing on a lot of things to help people who wanna do woodworking and maybe don't have a lot of space or think that they need to have uh, a lot of tools. You don't need that. Like, we started out with none of that. We, um, we just slowly started buying tools and designing things and building them and we were able to create a company that's that's thriving here in Phoenix and um, we just wanted to kind of share how we did some of that. Um, we also do metal fabrication, um, we've done glass installs, we've even done framing and um, shade sales even so we have a pretty wide range of work that we're capable of doing. 
if you if you know who I am, you probably know my chair. It's something that I've taught classes on a few times on how to make it. We don't give out a lot of information on the actual build of that. But if we hit 20,000 subscribers, we're gonna go ahead and do a start to finish build on that. And we're gonna teach you exactly how to make my chair. So if you're interested at all in that and you wanna see that come to life, go ahead and subscribe and we'll see if we can make that happen. Thank you.